What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon Gonzalez and no, this is not like any other regular video. This is my top five best bicep work, bicep, best bicep workouts for size and mass. Starting off with my number one workout. This isn't any particular order, this is my top five favorite. Number one, incline dumbbell curls. So the incline dumbbell curls are gonna be the best workout for Fuck, all the cars are faster now, who cares? It's gonna be the best workout for going peak. Specifically, they're gonna be a lot better than um, preacher curls. The reason being is when you're doing the incline dumbbell curls, I'm probably putting a little clip right now. When you're doing the dumbbell incline curls, your arms are hanging and you're gonna get a full contraction and your arms are always gonna be under tension because you're gonna be holding on to the weight the entire time. While when you're doing preacher curls, your arms are laying ahead of you and pretty much they're not gonna get that full contraction, not gonna be under tension the entire time, and you have the possibility of hyperextending your arms at the bottom. While with the incline curls, you're gonna be good, getting full contraction, and get the you're gonna get the full range of motion the entire time with the entire workout. So the incline dumbbell curl will be the best workout for isolating your bicep and really working on that peak. It works the long head of the bicep, and the long head of the bicep is the one where you see the peak, and it's pretty much the biggest part of your bicep. Now, on to number two, which is my actual favorite workout. If you guys saw yesterday's video, it's the workout I did for my biceps, spider curls. If you guys know how to do spider curls, I'm gonna put a clip right here. It's pretty easy, guys. You don't really gotta do nothing much. You can do it either with a barbell or a dumbbell. But the spider curl is gonna be a really good workout to work the short head of your bicep. And the really good thing about the spider curl is that you guys are gonna have the full range of motion when doing it. You're gonna get a really good con uh, contraction. You're gonna get a really good stretch. And it's just gonna get a good pump because your arms are gonna are again gonna be always under tension. And yeah, the spider curl is just overall a great workout. You can do many variations of it, but usually the best way to do it is just on the incline bench, like you know, I do it, I do it well, and I'm gonna do it the best. So again guys, you guys are always gonna wanna do workouts that work out both your inner head of the, of the bicep and also the outer head, so your long and short heads. The next workout I'm doing, which is number three, is the rope hammer curls. So I was gonna include regular hammer curls in here, but I decided, you know what, what is it? Hammer curls or dumbbell curls? I was like, you know what? Dumbbell curls are gonna win it out. But I still wanted to include some type of variation in the hammer curls, and the rope hammer curls are gonna be the best thing you guys could possibly do if you guys are deciding to do any type of cable work. Because when you're doing the rope hammer curls, you're doing the hammer curl movement, but you can also, since you're using ropes, uh, I'm gonna do it inside. But since you're using ropes, you can twist it at the top and really get that contraction. So you pretty much get the hammer curl movement from the top, from like that first 80%, and at the top, you contract it, and you get a really good contraction, a really good stretch, and you pretty much hit both heads when doing it. The, ha the hammer curl is really important for hitting the long head of the bicep, again, the way you get the peak. But with that stretch on top, you also hit a little bit of the inner head. It's number three already? Yeah. Or are we on number four? We are, we're on number four now. Huh. Okay, wow. Well, I, I actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. I do have five. I was tripping for a bit. I was like, wait, do I have five workouts? <laughs> so, but these last two guys are going to be the ob most obvious bicep workouts you guys are ever going to think about. Starting off with supinated grip uh, dumbbell curls. So these are my favorite workouts of all time. Do you guys see how I do it? I don't... I never do the whole... um. What, what is that called? Just normal dumbbell curl where you where you start with the arms like right here and then you curl it at the top. I like having my arms up up in front of me like this and just curling one, two. Because for some reason I just feel like my bicep is under more tension and I get a better pump and a better stretch while doing it. And if I want to hit the 
you know, this movement, I'll just do hammer curls. I don't have to just do it and do that, you know? You get me? I could do both. I don't have to just like say half one, half the other. Nah, I like getting the full stretch like this and really controlling it. One thing you guys need to know when doing these workouts is never, ever swing the weights or else it defeats the entire purpose of the workout. And not only will you not get stronger, you increase the risk of injury when doing it. Please do not do that. Please do not swing the weights. Also, when doing hammer curls, guys, some people want, want um, some people allow their shoulder to come forward like this, and like they pull forward, and that just takes all the tension off your bicep, and you can pretty much fucking fuck up your shoulder like that. And nobody wants to fuck up their shoulders. If you fuck up your shoulder, what are you gonna do? Legs? No. Shit. You forgot something. The arm blaster. That arm blaster is a okay. The arm blaster, you guys can include that whenever you're doing like normal spider curls and stuff. That would be just different variation because you guys are really focusing on the contraction. So the arm blaster is important, but I guess I'll put that like as an accessory, as a... What, what's that word you say when like you have a top five? Honorable mention. There, there you go. go. Honorable mention. Got it up in here. You already know. I got the mind of a fifth year old. A fifth year old. You know, yesterday, dude, I asked somebody. I asked somebody, around what month were you born? I meant to ask him when you were born about that. Around what month were you born, dude? It was just like... <laughs> it was, what? It was just like, what do you mean around what month I was born? I could already imagine that person's face. He was like, <laughs> was like what do you mean? <laughs> like a range of months in between one of these months? When was I born? <laughs> I was like, around which month were you born? <laughs> anyway, so that's the fourth workout, right? I just said no, normal um, dumbbell curls. So, on to the last workout, which again, this is not in any particular order. I usually start my workouts with this. Everything good? Yeah, it was getting dark for a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. Hopefully everything's good right now. I usually start my, I usually start my workouts with this bicep workout right here, which is something you guys should do. And then move on to the other ones to just start hitting and get like another like contraction and pump. But for my main movement of bicep curls, it's got to be the dumbbell curl. I mean the dumbbell curl. Fuck, I already fucked it up. It's got to be the barbell curl. Barbell curls, guys, you can go heavy as you want. Five sets of five, get that strength in you, and then move on to doing like dumbbell curls, spider curls, incline dumbbell curls to get that bodybuilding movement. But if you guys want to get strong as fuck, barbell curls, because you can lift more weight, keeping your arms under like heavier tension, which in reality will make your arms stronger over time. And then, if you guys need to work on imbalances, work on the dumbbell exercises. But if I'm talking about strength right now, which strength is important, you don't, you're gonna need strength to build muscle. You always need strength. That's why I did a power building program before I did my like get shredded shit. So you will think, nah, man, just uh, low, low weight, high reps. Eventually, you guys, you guys are gonna need to use like strength stuff. So this might be like a size video, but it's, you know, strength is important. So barbell curls, guys, heavy barbell curls. They'll really help and you really feel good after them. Look, I say heavy. But not heavy enough where you're swinging that shit. And you're like, you're fucking like, you know what I'm saying? You ever seen that crap where people are in the gym, like Brad Castleberry, it's fucking like, it looks like they're about to do an Olympic lift. Like they fucking thrust their hips into it and shit. Like, nah, don't do that shit. Nobody wants to do that shit. Yeah, but why would you, why would you swing fake weights? Exactly, why even swing fake weights? I'm calling you out. <laughs> what else is there to say? Is that my fifth workout already? Yeah. How, many, how much time has this video been? I've been recording for 8 minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, everything sounds good. All right, be careful you don't fucking break my car right there. You lean on that shit, it's gonna fall off. Anyway, anyway, it's time to go get this workout. I'm recording a very special video for you guys right now. That's why I'm not recording back. I'm recording something special. It'll be going up in a few weeks. I'm really sorry, but there might not be a zoo video this week, guys. This week is jam-packed with events and stuff. I'm going to camp vlogging on the weekend. It's my cameraman's birthday on Tuesday, so you already know it's his 21st birthday and we, we don't want to wake up early on Wednesday, you already know how that goes. It's not going to be a good situation if we if he wakes up on Wednesday and I'm like, wake up at 5 a.m., let's go. <laughs> he might not even go to sleep that day, who knows? I might not even be alive. Yeah, he might not even be alive still and then I have to find another cameraman and I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's, just see, let's just see how that goes. But yeah, guys, just remember, when you're doing bicep curls, guys, slow movements, slow decline, slow contraction. Just really, really take it slow. I guess I have nothing much else to say, guys. I'm gonna go inside, do some workouts. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do the curls I just told you guys to do right now so I can have a video. And we're gonna go just 
been the shots today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Also, leave a like. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I might put a poll up, but I'll probably forget to do it anyway. Uh, please subscribe if you want to be a guy. Please subscribe if you want to be guys. Please subscribe if you want to be us to do with all of my content. Please subscribe to my gaming channel. And yeah, peace out.